See, this problem is related to collinear vectors as well as the unit vector parallel to a given vector. And this problem has two concepts involved. First thing is collinear vector. Okay. And the second thing is identifying unit vector parallel to the given vector. Okay. See, two vectors are collinear. Then what, uh, see, then what is the condition to apply between these two vectors if they are collinear? See, basically in vectors, two vectors are considered as collinear vectors. Okay. Uh, if a1 bar is equal to some lambda times of a2 bar, then these two vectors a1 bar and a2 bar are considered as collinear vectors. Okay. Always, if two vectors are collinear, one vector is some scalar multiple of the other vector. Okay, so this is the collinearity condition. Based on that, since these two vectors are collinear, so by the collinearity condition, the corresponding coefficients of this i, z, k are in same ratio. That means here i coefficient is x, here i coefficient is 1. That is equals to here j coefficient is minus 1 and here j coefficient is y. That is equals to here k coefficient is 1 and there is k coefficient is z. So x by 1 is equals to minus 1 by 1 is equals to 1 by z. This is the ratio. So based on this, we have many possibilities to identify the vector, uh, to identify the values of x, y, z. The question is about finding possible unit vector parallel to this. x, y, z is a lot of possibilities. These are the possible values. Okay? So, for example, if the condition satisfies, if I say x is equal to 1, y is equal to minus 1, and z is equal to 1. If I fix x, y, z values like this, this ratio is set. And so, now the given vector will become like i bar minus j bar plus k bar. So, collinearity condition applies, x, y, z values are all possibilities. One of the possibilities is this, 1 minus 1 and 1. So, it can each other vector fix it. Now, unit vector. So, unit vector parallel to the given vector. So, e concept will apply. So, for example, if you have a vector a bar, then unit vector parallel to a bar is nothing but a bar by modulus of a bar. Always, okay, unit vector parallel to a bar is a bar by mod a bar. Here, we are going to find unit vector parallel to this i minus j plus k. So, this is nothing but i minus j plus k divided by the modulus of this is nothing but root 3. So, modulus and results are. So, we need to add the squares of all those coefficients. Okay. 1 square plus minus 1 square plus 1 square. And so, 1 by root 3 i minus 1 by root 3 z plus 1 by root 3 k. So, this is the possible unit vector parallel to this when these two are collinear. Okay. Okay. This next problem is again from JE Mains 2021 problem. See, in previous problem is about collinear vectors. Okay. And this problem is about coplanar vectors. Right. So, collinear vectors are in the mind. One vector is some constant multiple of the other vector. That is about collinearity of vectors. Whereas coplanar vectors, coplanar vector, what is the basic definition? Coplanar ante. See, if three vectors or three or more vectors, if they are in the same plane, then these are considered as coplanar vectors. Okay? So, okay, plane lo ante coplanar vectors ante. If coplanar vectors condition ante. Basically, we need vectors here. Or suppose if A bar, B bar, C bar or three vectors in the same plane, see, or you may, uh, then it is easy to express one vector A bar as a linear combination of other two. And the A bar is, is equals to some constant K1 into B bar, some constant K2 into C bar and right, is a condition. So, the related the problems, but the next problem is the same. And coplanar vectors related to the inco condition, this is one of the condition. And the other condition is nothing but, the determinant of the corresponding coefficients of these vectors a bar b bar c bar is equal to 0. If you have three vectors a bar b bar c bar, then the determinant of the coefficient of corresponding three vectors is 0. That is the other condition. Okay. See, 
and now I am going to use this determinant condition to solve this problem. Aite, so, this determinant condition is used to use 3 vectors, but in the problem, we have 4 points. So, usually 4 points, we have 3 vectors to convert chesi, and then we need to apply the de determinant concept here. Okay, so you just say this is point A, point B, point C and point D. These are four different points. Okay, see and using this we need to frame three vectors. Okay, right. So what A, B, then what is the vector A, B bar? A, B bar is nothing but O, B minus O, A, right? So 7 minus 1, 6, I, 5 minus 5 is 0, plus 5 minus 35, is minus 30 k because j bar is not there. So then you can b c. So then what is the vector b c bar? 1 minus 7 is equals to minus 6 i lambda minus 5. Okay. See I am going to erase this. Collinear coplanar. Manu to coplanar vector let me the problem j both. Okay. Right. So you do lambda minus 6 i plus lambda minus 5. Lambda minus 5 into j bar plus 7 minus 5 is 2, 2 k bar. So, a b bar is one vector, b c bar is the other vector, then coming to c d, third vector, 2 lambda minus 1, c d bar is equals to 2 lambda minus 1 into i bar plus 1 minus lambda into j bar, 2 minus 7 is minus 5 k bar. Okay? And these three, these four points are coplanar as mentioned. That means these three vectors are coplanar. Since these three vectors are coplanar, then by the condition of coplanarity, corresponding coefficients of these three vectors form a determinant of zero. So what are the coefficients here? 6 and j bar is 0. K bar coefficient is minus 30. And the next vector, minus 6, lambda minus 5 and 2. And third vector, 2 lambda minus 1, 1 minus lambda and minus 5. This determinant value is 0. So, usual matrices method. E determinant find out chase there. E determinant value, it makes a quadratic with us. 5 lambda square minus 44 pl lambda plus something we will get actually. And since the question is about identifying the sum of possible values of lambda. See, it is a quadratic. Then it has two possible values for lambda. And sum of the roots, sum of possible values is minus b by a. And from this, our answer for the problem is 44 by 5. Okay. So, next two problems related to the coplanar, which are asked in J image 2021. Okay. So, this problem will clear the three vectors. And these three vectors are considered as coplanar. Okay. First vector, second vector and third vector. As I said, three vectors are coplanar. Determinant formed by the coefficients of those three vectors will is zero. Okay. So for this problem, if we apply the determinant, determinant of the coefficients. Okay. Two plus a plus b, a plus two b plus c, and this is minus of b plus c. So the coefficients to one determinant form jayari. So this is nothing but determinant of. Okay. Two plus a plus b. And then a plus 2b plus c. Next thing is minus of b plus c. That means minus b minus c. Next, second vector. i coefficient is 1 plus b. j coefficient is 2b. And k coefficient is minus b. Next, whereas coming to third vector. i coefficient is 2 plus b. And j coefficient is 2b. Whereas k coefficient is 1 minus b. This determinant value is 0, right? This determinant value is 0. So, use, by using usual matrices methods, we need to find its determinant value. If required, go with row operations, column operations, okay? So, a matrix of a determinant usual ka find out chest and we will get the relation that 2b is equals to a plus c. And that's the answer for this first problem, which is related to coplanarity. So, it leads to, again, determinants of matrices. Second problem would be type. Okay. Again, these three vectors for coplanar. Equal to matrix, vector accidentally, ai plus aj plus ck, i plus k, ci plus cj plus dk. So, determinant of these coefficients. 
a a c and second vector so 1 0 1 whereas third vector c i c z b k g t c c b and this determinant value is 0 again usual usual way of finding determinant if you find it you will get c square is equals to a b from that so our answer for this problem c is equals to root a b okay so I, we have different problems related to, that means many problems related to coplanarity of the vectors in mains 2021 okay have a look so all together represents that way of solving vectors coplanarity is somewhat important related to the mains.